This tutorial will show you the basics on using EndNote with the AGLC3 referencing style for law. To add citations to a footnote in a Word document, place the cursor where you want the footnote. Click on the References tab at the top of your Word document and then click on Insert Footnote. Place the cursor in the footnote. Click on the EndNote X8 tab at the top of your Word document. Click on the drop down arrow next to Insert Citation. Click on Insert Citation. Search for a reference by typing in a keyword or author's name. Select a reference and then click on Insert. The reference has now been inserted into the footnote and added the reference to your bibliography at the end of the document. To add a pinpoint to the reference, click on the citation in the footnote to highlight it. Click on Edit and Manage Citations. Make sure that the reference that you want is highlighted. Type the pinpoint into the Pages field. Then click OK. The pinpoint has now been added to the citation. Non-consecutive repeated citations sometimes require an above end reference. To do this, insert the footnote as usual using Word. A non-consecutive footnote will appear with author's name followed by above end and you need to include the footnote number of the original instance of the citation. To add this number, click in the space after the footnote citation as you don't want the citation highlighted. Select the References tab, click on Cross Reference. Click on the drop down arrow for Reference Type and select Footnote. Remove all ticks from boxes. Select the footnote you wish to cross reference to and then click on Insert. Manually add a full stop after the number or a comma and a pinpoint. More detailed information about inserting pinpoints and cross-referencing footnotes is available from the Law tab on the EndNote Guide under EndNote Law Tips. For most law databases, you will need to manually enter your references into EndNote. However, Hein Online and Aegis Plus Text support exporting references from the databases directly into EndNote. You must have the EndNote program open when exporting. Let's begin with a list of search results in Hein Online. To export results into EndNote, check the boxes of the results you want to export. Ensure that My Hein Bookmarks is selected in the drop-down menu at the bottom of your results page. Click Save Email. In the tag pop-up box, click on Enter into Research. Click where it says Click Here. Click on Check All. Change the Options field from Email to Export to EndNote Journal Articles by clicking on the drop-down arrow. Then click Submit. Click Open With and then OK. The references have now been exported into your EndNote library. How to export results into EndNote from Aegis Plus Text? Starting from a list of search results, check the boxes of the results you want to export. Click on Save at the top of your search results. Change the output format from plain text to EndNote Direct and then click Save. Click Open with EndNote X8, then OK. The references have now been exported into your EndNote library. If you need further assistance, please contact the library.